want to change the caption. So the command one dot caption, just the command button. But the caption is now going to equal string caption or variable. Okay, now we'll start writing our um, property. Push enter. We're going to use public property. The reason being, if it was private, you will not see it on the form. When we add, when we add the user control, you will not see it. So you need public property. So public property get caption as string. Remember, it has to match our variable. Data type is string. So get caption, caption is equal to string caption. Then we're going to go public property, let caption by val string new caption as string. Now remember we can have anything there as long as it's a string data type and it doesn't match what we're going to be writing um, the other variable. So now we're going to have set variable so string caption is equal to string new caption. Now here the button is going to change. So we have command one dot caption is equal to string caption. So when we change the the caption right here when it gets changed, it's going to set the button to that caption that we change. Okay, now we have property changed. So what we do is call property changed. I believe that's how you do it. Now this um, sub has um, optional parameter property name, but you don't need it. It's just this property that we're in. So we're just going to use call property changed. Okay, then we we'll go down here. And what we need now is what I haven't explained why we have the property changed here. Um, property changed here is going to call two subs, the read and write of the user control. And the reason you need this is because when you're creating your own user controls, if you add a user control to a form and you change the property, the caption, to say hi or whatever you want, and you save it and then you close your project, you reopen it and you find that your caption your caption property did not save what you had previously. Um, so this is why you need these subs that I'm going to be adding so that it gets saved in your user control. So first you want to click on a user control sub somewhere and you're going to look for if I can get to, it's not going to let me, here we go. Alright, go down for, you want to read and write properties. Right properties is at the bottom. We're going to move the read properties down there too. Let's go ahead and read first, then we'd write. Okay. So what we're going to do here get property variable. So, or actually it'd be set in this case. It's almost the same thing. Um, so string caption is equal to prop bag. See where I got that from? Right here, the property bag. Um, dot read property. So looking for name is string. This is your property. We called it caption. You need the default value. We said it was high. Now, even though that was optional, I've had some problems where if I don't put that default value here um, in the read property I have some problems sometimes so I just put a default um, variable or the what this is called what this is default just because I don't have to worry about it later now we're gonna write so um, what we're gonna do here is call move this dumb thing down call it's gonna be prop bag dot write property then the caption again property uh, variable is going to be string caption and the default value was high all right and that should be it um, I believe that is all 
unless I have another problem, but we'll figure that out. So as I close it, here's our different button. Select drag anywhere, and there we are. We have a caption now, see? There's the property. Here's what we can change. So we can say, mom, over here you can see the button changed. And if we exit this and save it, um, and we come back in, this caption will still say mom, and the property still works. So this is how you add your own property and a user control. So we're starting to work with user controls now. So any questions, go ahead with them. Um, thank you. I went through this really quickly because I'm going to keep moving on. Uh, until next time.